Hi beautiful Capricorns, welcome back to the channel everyone. Let's get some goddess energy on here for Capricorn. Capricorn please and thank you. Capricorn, thank you so much for your generosity, all of your likes, your comments, and of course all your subscriptions. You guys are very generous. And for that, I am very grateful to you and thankful to you. Thank you so much. Capricorn energy, please. Freya. Radical acceptance. You zoom. Humor. <laughs> there is an alliance here. Got ambitious Nike ambition. Let's see what Freya has to say. When you see life is a battleground, you lose sight of a more easeful way to be in the world you can be in the middle of chaos and allow yourself to center in the quiet hum in the eye of the storm let the peace of freya the norse goddess of war enter your mind hmm. amid the flurry of battle she came to collect the fallen and bring them to a place of rest and recuperation. Freya is here to remind you that the acceptance of defeat is not the end. She offers the gift of acceptance, the knowing that there is nothing to resist right now. See your world at the face value and look into it with discernment. When you see it with great, greater clarity, not taking the world so personally, you will not, you will have to, you will not have to fight at all. Hmm. So you could have found yourself in the middle of a battleground or you currently are. And uh, humor, laugh at it. 50. When the joyful Japanese goddess of laughter and mirth, Yuzum enters your day. Be playful and cultivate good-natured humor. Laughter is the best medicine and exceptionally healing at this time. Keep your focus on fun and positivity and see the humor if you can. Life is not meant to be all work and no play, all focus and no release. Humor fosters resilience and lightheartedness and alleviates emotional pain, giving such ne needed break from the burdens and the speed of life. Now is the time for you to be silly, laugh more, even take up laughing yoga. Yes, the world is serious and your dreams and desires are too. But the goddess Yuzume reminds you to enjoy your life and have fun. Alliance. The Greek goddess Hern, wife of Zeus, knew intimately that 
positive alliances lead to great power. At this moment, you're magnetized to receive. And from people who have a greater wisdom and can help you like the uh, help you to the next level perhaps it's a mentor who appears or someone in the know making connections with others and finding strategic partnerships that are favored right now as you explore the nature of becoming empowered by association this works well if you have a healthy sense of self-worth and if you're able to learn without diminishing yourself in any way right now here is sub, right now here is supporting you to form beneficial alliances for the greater good of all when it is when called to action or faced with a decision ask how does this benefit me and how can I serve the highest good as a result of this connection you may also be called to give help to another who needs mentorship give freely for only good will come of it this is a wonderful time for all manners of connections and collaborations. This is ambition. So you are forming alliances with people right now. And yesterday's read told you to say yes. Like accept this or mentor someone only good will come of it or accept a mentor the greek god Goddess Nike asks you to present to ask you to be present to the beauty and the richness discovered in you. Okay, you have come this distance, so what are your wins? Celebrating them is the key to now enable you to co-create even more. You live in a world where you may have felt that you are not allowed to celebrate your victories, lest be cut out, cut down for being self-centered. So somebody may not have liked the fact that you uh, celebrate your victories. Someone is like, you might have been cut down for people saying, oh, Capricorn, you're being self-centered. You're, you're bragging. You, you know, it's like they don't want you to be recognized or celebrate your victories without being cut, cut down like you're a braggart or you are being superficial or something like that but you are meant to celebrate your victories. Hmm. It's like not being allowed to celebrate your victories. Huh. Perhaps you were raised in a family that discouraged you from shining up to your authentic way. Being successful at the game of life requires you to refuse the message that you're too much or not enough. Your biggest win is to be yourself, accepting yourself exactly as you are, releasing the idea that you're flawed in any way, and exposing yourself with authenticity. This is a true power 
of the victory goddess, Nike expressed through you. If you've been struggling to move to the next level of your life, working hard or putting in the time and effort in, you will soon find that you are finally winning. Your determination and commitment to your intentions are manifesting in your life with the beautiful results. So if people don't like your victories and don't like you celebrating, it's almost like saying that you're flawed in some kind of way. Um, whether you do or whether you don't, it's like somebody didn't want you to shine or that somehow shining meant that perhaps you were vain or perhaps you were excessive or perhaps you were bragging or something like that. That is accepting the fact that uh, we are flawed and spirit is asking you somehow like this is criticism. Somebody may have been criticizing you the way things that you were supposed to be or, or like bringing home a straight A report card and wondering why you didn't get an A plus. Um, or saying, coming home and saying, yeah, I made the honor roll, or yes, I got the job, or yes, I got the promotion, and somebody else is looking at you like, you're not supposed to be winning, you're not supposed to be celebrating, there's something wrong with you, is there something wrong with you? These are, laugh at these people, bring humor into your life, don't take it personally. It's not a direct attack at you. It's an attack on them. It's not you at all, Capricorn. So it's almost like Spirit is saying that you have an opportunity now to be... Oh, maybe they're thinking, you know, you got that job because you kissed ass or you got that job because you were attractive or the only reason you got that job is this or that or the only reason you got that person is because of this or that. That's somehow making it look like you got a problem when it's actually them who has the problem. Okay? Do not take it personally. That's what Spirit's saying. Because they don't like you shining. This is somebody who wanted to be the star and maybe they're jealous of you that you are victorious and so there's got to be something wrong with you. Maybe you're vain. Maybe you're superficial. Maybe you just, you know, you got that job because you kissed ass or you got that job because... Uh, you know, whatever it is, it's because someone else didn't want you to celebrate your wins because they want to be the star and not you. Don't take it personally. Understanding. Oh, risk. It's because your strength. So it's almost like they want you depressed. They want you, you know, down and out because then they can feel better about their lives. If you're depressed, you know, you're trying to follow a vision here. You're focusing in on your vision and it's like, you're very strong and you're very understanding. So it's almost as if spirit is putting understanding people, alliances in your way, people that you can relate with, people that you can identify with, who are proud of your victories, who will be proud of you. Um, I think that someone tried to dull your light somehow making you feel as if you were not good enough 
or making you feel you're too little or too much. In either way, it's like pointing out something is wrong with you. When spirit is asking you to realize that it is nothing that is wrong with you. It's them. Why don't they want you to shine? Or why can't they give you credit where credit is due? So it's looking like you have an opportunity to engage with people that are proud of you, that strengthen you, help you to focus in on your dreams and your visions, telling you to go for it. Again, Spirit is saying, go for it. Be around people that empower you and want you to see you win. You're around some people that don't want to see you win. Yeah. So Spirit is saying, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life and be aware of your own emotions. You could be feeling depressed. You could be feeling like they don't understand or that people don't understand. But the only person who needs to understand is you. Because you're always going to be faced with people who are going to disagree with you or not see your potential. It's because they want to be in the limelight. Yeah. So you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. You could not be seeing things clearly. Because of this, it's like that's why you might have to seek out a mentor or be a mentor. Someone is not seeing something clearly. And it's like, there's an opportunity here to free yourself from a situation and be around understanding people that strengthen you, want to see you achieve your goals, want to see you achieve your, your visions. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. So you could be advising someone or mentoring someone or have an opportunity to free yourself from a very dull, dark place and to be around supportive, understanding people who will strengthen you. Or vice versa. There's a better course of action available. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review the details. So it's like there's an opportunity here to work with someone or to engage in be around people that encourage you, that strengthen you, that understand you. This is understanding people, loving, kind, compassionate people. What is this? Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome that you desire. Realize feelings of regret, guilt, or worry Give them to your angels. Somebody is making you worry or somebody is very worried. This is a form of sabotage or self-sabotage. You know, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm, maybe they're right when they're not correct.
reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationship, relationships. So there is always people there who are very loving and very generous and very warm and understanding. They're just sitting there waiting to love you, help you, assist you, empower you. Principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communications. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. It could be a scholarship or the pursuit of education. It's time to get to work. Reliable, clever, educated, balanced people. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. It is time to make a decision. Be clear of what you want and take action. You may need to, to detoxify a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. It's like you may be running your ideas by somebody. You might have a great opportunity and someone is saying, why do you have to be so greedy? Or are you sure you're not making a mistake? This is self-doubt, self-sabotory energy. Oh, I guess you're right. You know what I mean? When there is screaming here, an opportunity. It could be with your career. It could be with friends. It could be with people who are around, who want to love you, support you, strengthen you, and have nothing but the best intentions for you. It could be a workplace situation, but it also could be um, a chance to be around people who believe in you, strengthen you, and want to see you do your very, very best and will do everything in their power to encourage you. This is a mentor or a guide or you are mentoring and guiding someone to see them reach their fullest potential. It could be a child. It could be Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Do not hold on to, it's almost like someone is laying a guilt trip on you for wanting the best for your life or, or wanting you to be your utmost best. Are they a help or a hindrance? Because there's a whole group of people here willing to love you, willing to support you, willing to nurture you, be kind to you, be generous with you. It could be a job or a family situation or a relationships is somehow. Whatever those relationships are. It could be with your work. Ooh. This is ambition. Ten of Pentacles. And people around you who are celebrating your wins, who will celebrate your ambitions, your projects, your... These are supportive people around you who want to see you do well, 
who are proud of you, who celebrate you. Could be family. There's always somebody there to cut you down and slow you down. It's almost as if... That's what it is. Finding fault. This is fault finding. Finding your faults. Finding your, your weaknesses instead of your strengths. That's like... It's preventing you. It's keeping you in stuck energy. Stuck in a depression. Uh, like a hopeless... This is depression. This is depression. You might be feeling isolated or feel like, you know, you're, you have to work alone or that... There's a need to have humor. There is a need to laugh. Someone is being too damn serious. And this is stress. Fears. It's causing anxiety. It's causing... There's no need to worry. Someone is just taking something so serious that they need to laugh more. They need to, I don't know, somebody could be criticizing you or like, somebody does not want you to fulfill your visions or your dreams. This is love relationships or partnerships. Someone does not want you to you're too strong. Look, they don't want you to see your own strengths. They don't want you to see your own abilities. They don't want you to see your own potential. You're a very strong high priestess. This is someone with a lot of strength, a lot of intuition. This is probably somebody does not want someone to yeah it's like criticism 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 they don't want you to see your own potential everybody's got a critic here you're either this or you're either that flawed somehow someone wants to you to view yourself somehow as being flawed either too much or too little could stem from childhood you know being raised up uh, highly criticized highly judged this is uh, critical, critical, critical thinking or critic. Everyone's a critic here. Very judgmental. There's a lot of regret here or sadness or embarrassed. This is someone trying to embarrass somebody or make them feel like It's to keep them stuck. 
Someone does not want you to see your potential. Somebody could be like, I don't know. And there's a whole community of people here who want to strengthen you. It's a form of manipulation. It's to keep you down. It's to keep you from seeing your potential. I don't like this. Why do you want to go and join that job? Why do you want to be in that union? It's going to fail anyway. You're going to fail anyway. Um, look at this. This is like 10 wands. Somebody's been carrying this around. I don't know. When there is someone here willing to be kind, loving, nurturing, somebody don't want it. Either they see you as too little or see you as too much. Either way, they're picking out your flaws. You know what I mean? That's the message they're sending. Someone needs to stand up for themselves and make a decision. Because there's an opportunity here to move or to rebuild. Could be distance. But this is someone fair. This is someone objective. This is someone kind. This is someone generous. This is someone warm. It's a new beginning. It's almost like Someone extending the olive branch to you. Take it. Spirit is saying, take it. These are gifts of the universe. Ace of swords. Ace of wands. New opportunities. A success. Somebody's like, just like it's these words that come back to haunt. Words hurt. But spirit is saying learn that it is not you it is them. If somebody is saying these hurtful things, it's not you. Do not take it personally. Yes, they hurt. Sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. Yes, words can hurt. Words indeed can haunt the mind, not just haunt the body. There is a reason to be joyful and celebrate. Partnerships that bring joy and growth and excitement to your life. It may not be the best solution to work alone. Maybe you need to partner with somebody. This could be a child coming to you for advice or a person coming to you for advice 
who will work in unison with you. Yes, someone very kind, very generous, very giving. Teamwork. This is supportive community, supportive people around you. It's really important to surround yourself with supportive people. You know what I mean? See? This fear phantom crap. Fear, fear, fear. Negative thinking. It's a mental trap. Somebody does not want you to see your potential. Someone wants to keep you in this mental prison of that I am not good enough or I am not worthy of this or I am not um, I'm too little, I'm too much, I'm too this, I'm too that. This is henpecking, henpecking. Make the decision. Someone is thinking about traveling or moving, thinking that There's an opportunity here for relationships, opportunity to travel, opportunity to reach your full potential here. This is a golden opportunity here to reach out to somebody or someone is reaching out to you. This is high honor, respect, and someone who celebrates your wins. Someone who will celebrate you. This is a victory. Someone who will celebrate your victories, your wins. But needed action is required. That's what I mean. It's either too little or too much, too little or too much. It's their own insecurities. Trying to make you feel insecure. Trying to make you feel like you're either too little or too much. You should be this or you could be that or... <sighs> Don't you think you're selfish? Don't you think you're being selfish, Capricorn? Don't you think you're being selfish? Someone's laying a guilt trip here. Don't you think you're being selfish? Oh, that's too much. That's too little. What the fuck? There is someone here who's very balanced very patient, very, this is like a guardian angel, I swear. Someone needs to leave a situation, a person, place, thing, or job, and take the steps, gotta take action. Don't allow insecurities and what other people are telling you to keep you from this. Yeah, what the hell do I gotta, you know? It's like,
Why do I always have to struggle? Why do, you got to fight for what you want? There is someone here who is very balanced. Why very generous? Who and spirit is saying who is going to be the person who will best serve you? Like for the higher greatest good of all. Why is somebody guilt tripping someone? Guilt tripping someone into like feeling like I have to stay or I can't leave. Even though they're heavily burdened and they're stressed out. But they're afraid to like because of heavy criticism. Fear of criticism or disappointing people or judgment. This is someone very, very generous. This is the wheel. Someone's like scared of hurting someone. Scared of like hurting somebody. But look at the potential here. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> but it's going to piss somebody else off. It's going to make somebody else angry. So what? If it makes people angry. So what if it makes people angry? This could be family. Oh, I don't want to piss off my family. Oh, I don't want to make my family mad. This is family. This could be someone in your own darned family who... Someone's... Ah. Someone's jealous, I'm telling you. Jealous and angry. That you want to take a leap of faith. They're going to get mad at me. They're going to be mad at me if I take this leap of faith. They're going to be angry at me. They're, they're going to be jealous if I do this. They're going to be hurt. I'm going to hurt other people if I do this. says someone actually has a f fear of success, a fear of like reaching their potential. This is their dream. This is their star. This is, they feel this is destined. A mentor. Either you need to seek a mentor or a counselor, or you are a mentor, a counselor, and someone is seeking your help. Whoever this is, you love, or they love you. King of Cups. This could be family. 
this could be like someone coming toward this high priestess. And somebody don't like it. Someone is depressed. And there are lies being told here. There are lies. Somebody is lying about, you know, how'd you get that position? Did you, who'd you have to steal from or cheat to get that? Or like, I don't know. Some is just, yeah, they want to, oh, geez. This is an empress and an emperor. So, I don't get it. I don't get it. Who does this? It's like somebody is trying to be like a sacrificial lamb here, denying themselves of happiness and denying themselves of being part of something really big because of what other people have said or may think. Oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings or I don't want to disappoint anybody. It's like... When there's obviously someone here who's very loving, very kind, very generous, very considerate. This is a mentor a mentor someone is denying themselves out of a bunch of happiness here and being part of a whole loving community, a whole loving situation because of somebody else's opinions. Don't you think you're being greedy? Don't you think you're being selfish here? Skill trips. This is a chance to do something amazing. It's time to make a decision. Be clear in what you want and take action. It's like somebody needs to detoxify from a very um, critical, heavily critical environment.
that's what it's saying Capricorn um, along with your other readings I think it was yesterday that said say yes say yes because if you have the opportunity to mentor someone else or you have the opportunity to engage in a very happy outcome do so it's almost as if somebody is so used to being cut down that They may call you selfish for fulfilling your visions. Somebody may be calling you. Don't you think you're being greedy? Don't you think you're being selfish? No. Because when you serve your higher good and you serve, uh, you can't make decisions based on how... You have to listen to your heart and what your heart's telling you to do. It's almost as if somebody's guilt tripping somebody from being with you or coming toward you or vice versa. Spirit is saying, say yes. Take care. <laughs> 